Picture this, it's 1850 and you're a fur trader from Independence, Missouri, and all of a sudden you and your family pack your bags and you head 2,000 miles west to Oregon. Why? In order to get free land and to avoid the east. Well, that experience that I just laid out is a real thing called the Oregon Trail that actually happened and they made it into a game. And of course, being a gaming YouTuber, I'm going to try to speedrun it. In fact, I've done this before. I'm actually a top 100 speedrunner in the Oregon Trail game. I think I got something like six minutes and 45 seconds. So we will be beating that today and re-entering the top 100, maybe even the top 50. I'm gonna start off with a normal playthrough so I can get acquainted with the game again, and then I'll go right into the speedrun. So let's do this. All right, so here we go, the Oregon Trail. And keep in mind, this game was made in like 1985, so the graphics aren't gonna be that of like cyberpunk. I think that had good graphics. So you may do all the following things, and we of course are going to be traveling the trail. Many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. You may be, you could be a banker from Boston. I used to be a banker from New York. I guess it's kind of similar. A carpenter from Ohio. So that would be like Logan and Jake Paul's dad, right? Greg Paul, I think he's a carpenter. A farmer from Illinois, okay? Or you could find out the differences between these choices. I mean, I'm not super dumb, so I kind of get the differences. Let's be a banker. What is the first name of the wagon leader? This is where it gets fun. So I, of course, will be leading the wagon. And now I have four more people. So I'm going to choose you guys. So if you're watching this, I'm going to include your name, maybe. So let's pull up the list of four random subscribers. This is your chance to subscribe because maybe when I do the speed run, you'll be included. So do it. All right, so we have El Goblino. Shout out to you. Lil Hash. ASMR BJ. And Steve. Those will be the five members departing on this trip to Oregon. Yes. So it's 1848. You're jumping off place for Oregon. It's Independence, Missouri. Fun. Does anybody live there? I'm wondering if you're watching this video, you're from there. Let me know. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Uh, so I'll teach you the strat now. You want to leave in April because then you get the best weather. Even though there's a lot of rain in April. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600 in cash. You don't have to spend it all now. We're going to spend most of it. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. He's going to fix this up with oxen and clothing. All right, cool. Food, ammunition, and spare parts. All right. So for oxen, we're going to want... How many of these bad boys? 90? Nine. Nine. There we go. 360 is the number. Yeah, that's a good amount. Uh, food, I believe it should be. Well, let's see what they give us for serving sizes. Pounds, so you want 2,000 always. Clothing, I think we're going to go with... How many sets of clothing? I believe we're going to want 40 sets of clothing. Does that look right? Yeah, uh, I believe so. Ammunition, we're going to look at, I believe, 20. And then spare parts, we're going to be looking at... Uh, three apiece bring us to a grand total of around thirteen hundred dollars, which Not bad. Well, then you're ready to start. All right, here we go. So now we're officially departing on the Oregon Trail It's gonna get wild. So buckle up. All right So we're gonna start off before we do anything changing the pace because we want it to be grueling because we're all about Movement. Uh, the weather looks cool. Health is good for now. Pace is grueling. Rations are filling. All right, here we go. From Independence is 102 miles to the Kansas River Crossing. All right, so literally what this game is, is you basically just do this and then stuff happens. Like you're going to see, like we're going to cross a river. Would you like to look around? No. Uh, the river is 5.7 feet deep. So we could do a couple different things. We could ford the river, caulk the wagon, take a ferry across. So since we're bankers and we have a ton of money, we're going to take the ferry across. It's $5. That's nothing to us, right? YouTube AdSense. And then here's the animation. So sometimes it'll sink, sometimes it won't. So hopefully we get lucky here. It's entirely RNG, by the way. This whole game is RNG. All right, so we got to cross safely. From the Kansas River crossing, it's 82 miles to the next destination. All right, we're going to keep going. Hopefully everybody stays alive. The big thing I'm looking at for is the health it says good right now but that won't last so no we don't want to look around this is 3.2 feet deep so i think we should caulk the wagon i don't know what that means but i'm pretty sure that's the right choice we have nine strong oxen so we should be fine okay well we weren't it looks like we lost a ton of stuff 28 sets of clothing and 191 bullets that's definitely not good all right i guess we crossed it somehow though didn't show us that we crossed it but i guess we're fine Health is still good, so I'm feeling all right. Coming up to a major landmark might be, okay, Fort Kearney. We don't want to look around. All right, everything's good. So it's getting a bit cold. That April 15th was at Pi Day. A couple more miles until we have our next stop. Next landmark should be coming up in our purview. Strong oxen, our health is fair. So as soon as that dips down to bad, then we have to go and rest because then that brings our health back up. Pretty seamless run though so far. Usually like a lot more bad things happen. 
even though we drowned. All right, yeah, we're kind of killing it. I expect the health to deteriorate over the next like two to three stops, I'd say. You passed a grave site. No, we don't care about them. I think there's in total 1,500 miles, so we did about one third of it at this point. Health is still fair. Okay, so Lil Hash has a broken leg. Okay, we don't love that, but we'll continue moving on. So usually at this point, once you're into May, the health starts to go down, so I fully expect it to. It's rainy right now. ASMR BJ has a fever. Okay, rest up. Health is poor, so what we're going to do is click enter. Well, enter, and we're going to uh, stop to rest, and we'll do four days. So you'll see up top, four days pass, and health is fair again. So now let's continue on. And we're about halfway done with the entire thing. All right, so we don't look around at any point, so we're going to head for the Green River Crossing. Because as you, we're big fans of rivers, because we definitely have never drowned before in the river. Weather's warm. We have that good May 15th weather. Let's see how we can... Okay, let's take the ferry across, because we have the option. And hopefully this ferry works. Let's check it out. Looks pretty sturdy. Looks like it's built on some, like, strong infrastructure. Of all this wood. There we go. Ferry got across safely. We love it. By the way, this is always going to be an any percent run. And what that means basically is it doesn't matter if we have people die, we're just trying to complete the game. Very little water, so expect the health to fall down. Steve has typhoid. I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming it's not good. El Goblino has typhoid, so I guess it's contagious. All right, let's stop here and let's do a rest for four days again. All right, happy June, June 1st, and we're continuing. The health is still poor. Doesn't make, wrong trail, lost three days, but the health improved, so I guess that was good. Inadequate grass, we don't want to look around. Steve has cholera. All right, Steve. I still don't even know what that is. Like, cholera means nothing to me. All right, let's uh, rest a little bit more because it seems like our health is really waning. It's back to normal. We've reached a fort, and we're really trudging now. Oh, we found some bullets. Okay. That's going to be useful moving forward. So inadequate grass, which means our oxen aren't going to be well fed. Health is... Okay, one of the oxen is injured, and that's definitely not good. Going to slow down our pace. Health is poor, so what we're going to do is rest again for four days. Oh, we passed my birthday. My birthday was June 14th. I didn't really say anything, but yeah, I turned uh, 20. Everything's still fair, and this is going to be the last river. El Gablino has exhaustion. Well, at least nobody died yet. We lost six days. The good thing about losing days, though, is that the health improves because everybody's like doing nothing. Uh, we're gonna hire an Indian to help. Uh, he wants three sets of clothing. Yes, we'll go naked. We're completely fine with that. Let's see if he actually can help us or if he's just all talk. So far, so good. Oh, there we go. You had no trouble floating the wagon across. Well, I love to hear that. One of the oxen has died. I don't love to hear that. So do you see all these things that can happen along the Oregon Trail that many people actually experienced? Well, that's like us, except we're not going to experience that because we're just playing a digital 8-bit game. Our health is poor, though, and I do take care of my people. And so what I'm going to do is rest them up for another four days. The goal is to complete it by July 23rd. I think that's doable here. Next landmark, 115 miles. I think this is it. Bad water. Health is fair. I think these mountains might be it. El Gablino has typhoid. At least he didn't die. He's still alive. Health is very poor, but we're there. You're now. Would you like to look around? No. Oh, I thought that was it. Okay, I guess not. Head for um, the Dales. I think the Dales is like the finale. Okay, we definitely have to stop. I have to rest them up. I thought that was it. I said July 21st, so it looks like we're going to be like 10 days late, which is actually like pretty far down. Very little water. That never stopped us. There's the promised land. El Gablino broken arm. Come on, you could survive. I'm not stopping again. We're going to finish before August. 30 days in September, April, June, and November. July 31st. The trail divides. What? I thought that was it. Float down the Columbia River. Use the arrow keys to guide. What? I've never seen this in my life. I have i don't know what I'm playing. I don't think this is part of the canon game. This is like an add-in. Okay, nonetheless, I mean, it, we're fine, I guess. I really, like, I don't know if anybody's, like, versed in this game, if this is normal to do. It's like one of those Club Penguin mini games. Just incredibly easy, though. Like, there was really no challenge there. I guess people back then used to be pretty terrible gamers. Like, if this is considered, like, the final level, I mean, I don't know what to tell them. And we are approaching probably the end, because how much longer can you float down this river? I guess endlessly. Am I having fun? I guess you could say that. I'm having some fun. Don't crash! Oh, that was very close. Perhaps too close. How long is this river? This does not seem like this should be going on this long. Are they trolling me or what? The raft has hit the shore. I thought that was the exit. 
Steve drowned. Does that mean he died? How much longer do I have? And how are the oxen even doing this? Oh, is that, is that, no, okay. I thought I should maybe get off there, but I guess not. Okay, the raft has missed the landing. How was I supposed to know that that's the landing? And we made it. Congratulations, you've made it to Oregon. Let's see how many points. Four people in poor health, one wagon, 10 oxen, <laughs> six spare wagon parts, 10 sets of clothing. All right, well, at least nobody died. And that's the Oregon Trail. So now we're gonna speed run it in less than six minutes because I wanna be top 50 in the world. So here we go. All right, so as promised for the official speed run, we will be using subscribers and we have Sid, Yoshi L, Mario Terry, no pun intended. Okay, can't fit that, let's shorten your name. And then we have Neo Prince. And those are the five that we will be conducting this speed run with. All right, so for this speed run, like I said, I don't know, we're gonna put the timer somewhere down here, I believe. It starts officially once I start the game, I'll tell you when, and it's going to stop the moment we reach the promised land. I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. Well, I'm just gonna be clicking quickly, so you're not gonna have the chance to read, but sit back and enjoy because we are about to break six minutes. I'm feeling it, depending on if we get good RNG or not. And then continue on trail. So the moment I click enter is when I will start the timer in three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna be clicking space very quickly. Sid has a fever. How does he have a fever immediately? This is already gonna mess up our run. Okay, so we wanna say no to that. We have to take the ferry across. Yes, the fee's okay. All right, we have to wait four days. Okay, let's hope this is quick. We need everything to go seamlessly here. Like if we were to sink in the water and lose a couple days, we lose a couple oxen, it's definitely gonna affect us. Okay, safety. All right, let's keep it moving. Good. Next river we have to caulk. Sid has died. How has Sid died already? How does that make sense? Okay, somebody has some sort of disease. No, look around. We're going to try to caulk the wagon. Here we go. If we sink, that sucks, but whatever. We're still going to be fine. I know it. I'm feeling good. Come on, almost there. Nice. Cool, we made it. Wow, that was, uh, that was a big relief. Health is poor, so I'm actually going to stop right now and we're going to rest for four days. I think it's gonna be useful. This is a good time investment. Okay, health is fair. Let's make it to the next checkpoint. It's too hot, it's April. The RNG is terrible right now. Uh, don't wanna look around, let's keep it moving. All right, so we're about a minute in and, oh, yes. Okay, we're able to repair it. Good thing I brought extra ones. Lose a day though. Come on guys, keep it moving here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing in sight. I love it. Just travel miles. I think we have to do like 1,800 miles, right? That's what it is. So we're about almost a third there. Really good stretch right here. Really good. Wrong trail. Lose four days. Okay. It's like I'm jinxing myself. Keep it moving. No, we don't want to look around. See, like the space bar is super meaningful. Like we have to do that. Keep an eye on the health. Broken wagon. Yes, repair it. Okay. We're able to repair it. We lost a day. Health is fair. We're still fine. It's rainy. Okay, uh, no, gravesite, don't care about that. Sorry guys, all right, independence. So we traveled about 675 miles and it's been almost two minutes. So this pace is fine. This pace is really good. I think we're pacing for sub six right now. Don't wanna jinx anything. I will be a very happy man though if we enter the top 100. Really good stretch here, really good stretch. Really good stretch. Health is fair as well, really good here. It's rainy, I don't know if that's good for our health or bad. Definitely good for the oxen. Okay guys, keep it moving, keep it moving. Good. No, don't wanna look around. Uh, I think we have to head for this, okay. There's a river and I believe we take the ferry or maybe we trade with the Indian, I forget. So hold on, I'm gonna have to play it by ear. No, okay, so we're gonna take the ferry across. Yes, that fee is fine because we have a lot of money because we're bankers, that's what we chose. Okay, so if we can cross the river before the three minute mark, then I think we're cool. All right, another successful one, good RNG at the moment. And we are officially a thousand miles in and we're pacing for sub six. So it's a really good start at the moment. We don't have to rest because health is fair. All right, and when we come to that next crossroads, I just have to figure out what we're gonna do. Lose a trail, lose one day. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, no issues here. Good. Uh, there's the fort. I don't know what we do there, but health is still fair. This is really big for us. After Sid died, things started to turn around for the better. Sorry, Sid. Okay, this is great. You have no idea how good this is right now. Health is fair. Okay, wild fruit we found. I think that's a good thing. Health is poor. Oxen, okay. So we're going to prioritize health because it's a good enough run. My birthday is June 14th. It's June 15th now, back in the trail. Come on, guys. Very little water, but our health is good. 
Okay, Yoshi has malaria or something. Health is poor. Okay, we're gonna rest for four more days. I know it's taking up a lot of time, but it's meaningful. I know we have to do it. Back on the trail, we're gonna cross the river by trading with the Indian, I believe. Okay, so we're gonna hire the Indian. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so we had to trade something. I don't even know what we traded. We could have traded Sid and his dead body, but that's completely fine with me. As long as we're pacing for sub six, and it's about four minutes now, and I think we're getting to the final stretch. No trouble floating across. Health is fair, inadequate grass. We don't care about that because the oxen don't need to eat. Very little water, that's fine. Health is fair. Sub six, baby, sub six. One of the oxen has died, okay. All of a sudden I care a little bit more. So let's rest a little bit, get everybody healthy going into July. Back on the trail, 417. All right, come on guys, come on, come on, come on. You can make it, you can make it. There we go. No, don't wanna look around. Okay, so we have one more heavy fog lose a day, that's fine. So we have one more um, crossroads to make a decision. Seven days? How many seconds is that? That's like five seconds we lose. Okay, come on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. July 14th. Health is good. Health is fair. Okay. At this mountain, I have to press two. That's what I need to do. I have to press two at the mountain because I believe we have to take that second path. No. Uh, so we want to head to Fort Wallowa. Okay, wait. wait, wait. I, I did the opposite one. Sorry about that. Okay. That's fine though. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Don't want to look around. Okay, this is it. Final stretch. Where's the promised land? Where's the promised land? We're at 508. We're at 508. Lose a day, that's fine. Oh no, what'd I do? What'd I do? Okay, there's a the promised land. We might break 530. We might break 530. We might break it. We might break it. I don't care about the wild. Oh, take the toll road. Yes, that's fine. We might break six. This is it. Four days. Okay, we might break six. We might do it. We might do it. Health is fair. As long as I don't need to stop. That's the promised land. That's the promised land. Lose a day. Okay. I think we have like 15 seconds to get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Yes. <laughs> and that, my friends, is a speed run. If you want to see more content, click here, click here. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe like this person did, and I'll see you next time. Peace.